What's going on everybody, I hope you're all well, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. As always, this is not a main episode of the Let's Play, this is a Codex lore reading episode. If that is not something you're interested in, go ahead and click away now. Otherwise, lock in and let's get our nerd on. We have a couple codexes to read, not so much from the last ones. Go ahead and uh, get the controls nonsense off my screen for now. So, creatures. Bear. No beast is more beloved in Dirthamen than the bear. When the world was new, Dirthamen gave one secret to each creature to keep. The foxes traded their secrets to Andruil for wings. The hares shouted theirs to the treetops. The birds sold theirs for gold and silver. Only the bears kept Dirthamen's gift deep within their dens. They slept the months away in the company of their secrets and nothing else. When Dirthamen discovered what had been done with his gifts, he snatched the wings from the foxes, silenced the voices of the hares, and turned the birds into paupers. But the bears he honored for their steadfastness, transcribed from Dalish tale, Nine Ape Dragon. Normally, it is almost unheard of for bears to attack travelers. They are, in fact, so shy and so inactive during the day that most people never encounter a bear at all. However, should a bear be provoked, they are remarkably dangerous. The normally placid-seeming creatures become enraged and can strike massive blows with their paws, capable of knocking a man off his feet. I love how the creature codexes give you uh, like gameplay hints, basically, of their mechanics. It's interesting. I like that. If you take the time to read this, you actually learn gameplay tips too. Very cool. Giant Spider Giant spiders tend to appear in old ruins and other places where the veil has become thin because of magical disturbances or a great number of deaths. In such places, spirits and demons pass into the world of the living and attempt to take control over living beings, spiders among them. Not all scholars accept this explanation. For the presence of these beasts, however, some claim that the thinning veil allows magic to leak from the fade, Painting such creatures as these spiders to transform into larger and more potent creatures than they ever would become naturally. While such spiders are known to possess powerful poisons and the ability to fling their webs at opponents in combat, studies of them have been few, and the full range of their abilities are unknown. So essentially, there are two options to explain giant spiders. It is either the veil leaks into them and enhances them with magic, or they are possessed with spirits, which causes the enhanced appearance and aggressiveness. I'm not sure which one I would go with out of the two. I think the leaking makes more sense than being possessed, because in my experience, possessed things don't retain their original shape like that. Here's that codex for Mabari Dominance, which is essentially Duke peeing on things. Mabari Dominance. Mabari hounds are descended from pack hunters, and like their ancestors, they are highly influenced by a defined order of dominance. The primary method of determining that order is by claiming territory through scent-marking major landmarks. Once established, the dominant Mabari gains a substantial increase in confidence and stature within his territory, a trade that indirectly benefits masters as well as hound. So basically, pee on things often. <laughs> right, quest related, what do we have? We have just the one. Maleficarum regrets, so Maleficarum is blip mages for those who don't know. I won't go back, let them hunt, and dread finding me, but you, Melis, should not live this life. It would please me if you found a life in the Circle Tower. I left a few things there, mostly stolen from the Enchanters. Sell them to fund a new path. The cash is in the study area, Middle Alcove. Goodbye. Belgrus. So Belgrus is the mage corpse we found on the bridge next to the Darkspawn we killed by Bodan Fedek. Uh, this is actually a really, really short Codex episode, wow. Um, well, <laughs> sorry about the very short episode, guys. I thought we would have had more codexes than that, but uh, alas, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and I will catch you guys next time with more Dragon Age Origins. Take care, guys. Have a good day.